Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 today for another Survive the Hunt. I'm going to be trying to survive for 24 hours of GTA time while a team of 14 hunters are trying to stop me, although they're a little bit incompetent as you can see. Uh, we're going to start off at 2am. Sure, why not? It's a nice round number. 2am, we will get underway. As you can see, we have no names over players. We have no maps on. They're going to have to try and find me within the city limits. The play area for this game is, well, basically, the whole city. Uh, as I said, we've got two-minute head starts to run, ditch my bright orange car, and then go to blending in with traffic. However, this time around, we have a slight variation, a slight tweak on the rules. My objective while trying to stay alive for the allotted time is to blow up some prees. Hidden around the map are ten or so pink prees that I've got to try and blow up as many of them as possible. It gives me something to be doing, something to be looking for while we are trying to survive. And it also gives, well, the hunters a little bit of a clue. Basically, I'm going to blow up a pre, there'll be a big explosion. That's kind of a big look he's over there, somewhere sort of a sign. Uh, likewise, the player who owns the pre, as it is a personal vehicle, they're all personal vehicles to the hunters, it will tell, you know, that person that I've blown up their car, they know where they left their car. I don't know where the cars are, we'll have to search for them, but uh, it will tell them where the... For a second I thought that was one there, that'd be terribly placed. Uh, <laughs> this is the road I normally end up shooting into the city on. Um, so yeah, it kind of gives them a rough idea where I was at some point in time. And also, blowing up the pre, you know, it's a slight bit of a danger for me. The explosion, you know, is a giveaway. Also, police might get involved. I might have to do off-the-radar things to try and uh, stand a chance here. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things to consider. Uh, the rules around them actually killing me are the same. Whoa, you lunatic! Uh, are about the same as well, they are the same as they always have been. So. They have to be on foot, you cannot shoot from a car, you have to be on foot, and they are with pistols and shotguns. Uh, this was actually not quite, uh, I was like, hoping there was going to be a car up here. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they've, we have to balance this out, they're limited in terms of uh, weaponry, um, because there's a lot more of them. Right, we are not going to drive, as much as I would love a bright yellow buffalo, I'm not going to drive that one. You know what, I'll take you. Uh, it's kind of silver, it's nondescript, it blends in with just about everything, the Zion, and it'll work. And it is pristine condition, pretty much. I mean, we are going to smash. I say we've gone pristine condition here, and then I've realised, well, we're going to be bombing cars, we're going to be throwing sticky bombs out the window, and I don't think... I uh, might be able to roll the window. So, a lot of people have told me... Nope. Oh, I had a gun out. I just thought I'd put the gun away. Well, never mind. We've broken the window. Either way, um, it's it's done now. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's go and turn the radio off just in case my character does a happy little dance at some point. I think the AIs do kind of at times do it, but I'd rather not, basically. Uh, we're just going to go. Let's not have any happy little dances going on from us while we are driving. Actually, we should be. We're blowing up prees. It's a good day for everyone. Uh, <laughs> But there we go. Um, so what I was supposed to do was that and... Does that... No, it doesn't seem to wind down the window. I've tried it before and it doesn't seem to work. Uh, it kind of even winds down the window. Regardless, it doesn't matter. The window smashed. But it will be smashed because I'll be throwing sticky bombs. Um, and the window... The, the damage doesn't always sync properly on everyone's screen. <laughs> is what it is, basically. Uh, now, for the prees, uh, they have been told they have to be parked uh, somewhere. They have to be visible from the road. So you can't go and bury them in a car park. You can't go and hide them in a garden or on the top of the maze bank, for example. Uh, they must be visible. But they don't have to be, like, on the side of the road. So, like, these cars over here, for example. Some might be. Some might be better hidden than that. And they're going to be spread out around the city. So, I mean, I've got quite a few cars to try and find, especially considering I'm going to be going slowly here. You know, we are trying to blend in with traffic. Trying to run for the entire time. You will be killed eventually. So, we're going to have to try and blend in with traffic. We're going to have to search areas, look around, 
for a pink pre. I would say shout if you see one. However, this is a video. Uh, <laughs> it won't do any good. Uh, I might miss them because I'm busy looking at other things. We might end up getting distractoed. We might try flying past them when we're in a chase because at the end of the day, yeah, I'm still trying to survive for as long as bloody possible. Uh, it's likely that we'll see a lot of hunters in helicopters. Or I say a lot. We're likely to see more going for aircraft this time around than we may have seen in the past. Reason being that they might stand more of a chance of seeing an explosion. They might see more of a chance uh, of spotting something exploding, be able to get to an area where there was an explosion quicker and potentially see where I might be trying to make an escape. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I uh, can't see anything up in the skies at the moment. But of course the hunters haven't been going long, uh, so they might not got around to their aircraft as of yet. They are allowed helicopters, but they're not allowed anything with homing missiles, so you can't use the lock-on thing. They can use helicopters for scouts. They can't fire from them, but they can use it to look around an area. I'm not... That's I'm not seeing any prey. I think it would have been very lucky if I'd seen a pre immediately around here. We've not seen any players, which kind of surprises me in some ways. Uh, we normally see, as they kind of fan out to search all the corners of the city, we tend to at least run into a couple in the opening phase, but so far has not been any sign. There's been weird AI cars, and AI's tried to kill my sultan, but <laughs> there's not a sign of an AI, of a hunter car around the place. Hmm. Does that mean they're all preparing... I'll be getting aircraft. Yeah, I guess some might have shots to try and find. Find some of the aircraft. Where would a hunter hide a pre? That's the question we are asking. Uh, <laughs> where? I feel like uh, there's going to be some sneakily hidden ones that you can see on the road, but only if you're looking in the right direction, probably. That is part of the fun of this. It's part of the challenge for them. I've got to try and spin the camera around, look for a parked pre, and not crash into something while spinning the camera around looking for a parked pre. I wonder if anyone's been a sneaky bugger and hidden it, like, on the road, out. Oh, that'd be a really clever place to put one. The road that I... So we all... We start at the docks. So, of course, they know I'm going to fly down that road out of there. I wonder if anyone's been a sneaky git and hidden it around those... Because they'll know I very rarely ever go back to the, you know, the docks area. Which, to be fair, I probably should, because it's quite, probably quite safe compared to other areas. I wonder if anyone's been a sneaky git and parked one, like, in those big industrial buildings. Um, let's go over that way, shall we? I mean, what have I got? If we find one along the way, fantastic. If we don't find one along the way, well, it's a merry journey, and we just try and blend in with... Dra I'm going to get myself bloody spotted, because I'm weaving around like a lunatic, trying to whiz the camera about. That is what's going to bloody kill me. <laughs> that's, that's what's going to get me this time. Uh, well, I say what's going to get me spotted. I'm sure I've been spotted from wonky lane changes and from pratting around with the camera. But you kind of... I almost want as much warning as possible if there's going to be a hunter car around. So I kind of need to look every direction or as many directions as I can. But, you, you know, you risk giving yourself away. It's... Oh, why we stopped here? Oh, you know what? I'm going for it. The car alongside me went for it as well. It's fine. There wasn't any hunters around either. Just make sure we haven't disconnected. Nope, we're all good. <laughs> oh, I think I spot one. I think I spot a bright pink prey. Yep. Now. <laughs> this is where things get interesting. So, I have sticky bombs to Damn. blow up the prey. Now, I can do the sticky bomb from inside the car. That's okay. But... They're going to know exactly where I am, and we're going to get a wanted level. Now, I have got the time. I've got to find a way of turning around without giving us away. And also, if there's a helicopter even vaguely close to us, it's going to notice that weird things are going on at this junction. While it might not be enough, you know, to guarantee it was me, it would be enough for somebody to go and check. I mean, you can go left, by the way. You didn't. Uh, <laughs> we can go straight on, so it's fine for us. Uh, Alright, so there is a pink pre over there. Now, where on earth am I going to be able to turn around? I guess I could bomb it from here. I kind of want to not... Just in case. Just in case something funky is going on. I don't want to be too... Uh, it's actually very difficult. Yeah, you know what? We're not, I'm not going to piss off the AI too much. Apparently I can go. 
You know, there we go. Now, uh, I'm going. <laughs> there was a gap in the traffic. We've gone for it. So my plan is, because I've got the, like, the cooldowns for this happening, uh, I'm going to... Right, here's a plan. We're going to pull into a car park. Stealthy, stealthy. The AI do occasionally pull into car parks, so if you see a car drive into a car park, you might not immediately cotton on. We are going to go. Lester, you're going to be Lester. You're going to be my best friend today. I know you're a bit weird, but you are going to be my best friend today. Uh, <laughs> we're going to call Lester. We're going to go. Hello. Uh, what can I do for not you? Not off the radar. We were going to go. Cops turn a blood. It's going to get bloody expensive. And because if I blow up the pre, I'm probably going to get a wanted level anyway. So let's go. Clops, cops, cops. Ah, clops. Uh, cops turn a blind eye. We've got three minutes to drive down and blow up a pre. And drive off. Oh, I've got a little bit of frame rate issues going on. Uh, <laughs> I had a slight concern about that Mustang, but uh, no, I think it is just... I thought it was like a slightly modified one. Um, but no, it's just a... Just a normal vehicle going. Uh, now, I believe we can turn... I think we can turn on the light. Everyone's stopped anyway, so screw it. We're going to go. Now, the trick here is going to be... Sticky bomb. Don't spin the wheels. Sticky bomb. Slowly drive away. Make sure we're far enough away. And... Bang! Uh, that makes everyone feel a little bit better, doesn't it? It's a nice exploded pre. Uh, so, one pre down. I'm actually now going back the wrong way where I didn't want to go, but we had to get the pre, so it doesn't matter. And now, they know where I, that, they know where that was. Whoever's pre that is, is going to have told them where that was. And I am going to have to try and go back into sneaking mode. Now. <laughs> oh, no. Put that away. Oh, wrong button. Go, go away. Go away. What game has left bumper is a look I don't know a game has left bumper for something else that I've been playing lately and for some reason I now just keep wanting to press it god damn don't stick your arm out with a sticky bomb that's less lunacy uh, there goes a player <laughs> that was very much a player went shooting past what the hell has happened here I had absolutely nothing <laughs> to do with that. who's given the Mustang driver alcohol uh, I mean, there is a Mustang driver joke to be made in all of that, but that was not a clever Mustang driver. Oh, the fuzzer here. Oh no, I'm still on cops turn a blind eye, so it won't matter, I'm driving a stolen car. Who? Bonus points for me. That's gone whizzing around. You see there, oh. What is happening? Why are the AI freaking out around me? Uh, there's a helicopter hovering low. Uh, you know what, I'm going to try and just use this... My plan was not to go this way, but I'm going to try and use this chaos a little bit. Uh, all the AIs are just doing strange things, so me wandering around probably won't matter. There's a chopper sort of scouring for anything. This is... Like, the actual physical act of exploding the pre isn't difficult for me, no. But it's the leave the area calmly. If I run out of the area at serious speed, someone's probably... I'm going to run into someone. Um... So if I try to leave it calmly, whoop, <laughs> there's an ambulance around. I'm trying to leave it calmly, but, you know, sitting in traffic. Oh, hello, Mr. Helicopter. Where are you going? Don't crash. I mean, the helicopters are not allowed to torpedo us. However, if a helicopter hits a building, crashes and explodes me, it would be funny. It would be an unfortunate way to end, but it would be funny. Unfortunately, I am kind of in the lane for going straight on, and if I deviate from this lane, I might be in trouble. What is that helicopter doing? I mean, if it's looking well enough... I mean, there is, there is a lot of weirdness going on. I think what's helping me here is the helicopter's freaking out AI cars enough that it's curious about them more than it's curious about, well, me. Although, if it, freaks out the if it freaks out the cars around me, I'm actually going to go with them. I know this is a little bit of a strange... I don't like this. Of course, helicopters, if they are following you, are very, very difficult to shake. Although, they're not as difficult as you might think. Like, you can lose them in the tall buildings around here. Uh, the skyscrapers make it very difficult for helicopters to follow you. Tunnels and bridges and all of that will work in your favour as well. But if they can get a team working well together. I think the difficulty that helicopters have is that most of them will only have one person in them, more than one person, and you're starting to, you know, lose hunters on the ground. Oh, there are cars around here. Oh, big crash for the hunter. 
Massive wreck for the hunter going through that. Um, we've got a little bit of a mess going on here. Is that Taco Van? Yeah, that'll be a player. It's missing its hat. The sign. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but we're going to call it a hat. Um, yeah, it's it's missing its hat. So I would imagine that that would be a player vehicle that's probably been involved in a prank somewhere along the way. Uh, certainly got... Oh, maybe it's just been crashed into... No, that's, no, that's a player, because they, the, they went up the wrong way and so on. Okay. <laughs> Christ. I'd say the exploding pre has done its job. We've only got one of them. We've only got one of them. I need to find some more. I was going to head back towards the docks, but I've just ended up being fired back around another way. Jesus, those were some terrible lights. Oh, that's a player car. No, I think that's an AI car. I think it was a terrible traffic light control. Uh... <laughs> Uh, right. I think we want to head... I think we want to head this way. Can I see a pink pre anywhere? That is the... Jackal? Oracle? Not Oracle. Whatever the damn thing is. Jackal. That's the one. Okay. Jackal, Oracle, Felon are all very similar cars. That was the one that buzzed around a little bit earlier. I thought for a second it was having a look at me, but I think it was just figuring out where it wants to go next. Like, planning its next course of action. Uh, do we reckon there might be a pink pretty around these buildings? Definitely can't see one down there. Would you hide a pink pre around the maze bank buildings? I don't know, but let's go and have a look. Shall we? Uh, <laughs> the answer? Probably not. Oh. I was busy looking. That's another thing that's going to get me bloody killed if I'm not careful. Um, I'm going to be spinning the camera around and not notice the lights change. <laughs> and AIs do weird things will get me in trouble. Uh, we're still all greens through here. Oh, it's close enough to a green. Can't see a pink pre along there. Um, hmm. Gosh, not finding any pre's at the moment. No sign of the pre's. Will they have put one in a car park? They could have put it in like a car park like that one over there, for example. I guess you might go stick one in there. Oh! <laughs> I spot a blimp! <laughs> I mean, that's one way to try and negotiate the city. It's not conventional. It's comical. I mean, do you get bonus points for comical uh, vehicle use in Survive the Hunt? I don't know, but if you did, a blimp would probably... Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, piss. Well, we're going this way now. I'm not going to fight around with lanes, because I know... I know that the time I fight around with lanes is the time I get bloody spotted, because it happens to be a hunter looking in the right place. And... Oh, of course. I forgot I can turn this way, can't I? <laughs> I'll eventually remember. I'll eventually remember the bloody American traffic laws. Really glad no one was paying any attention around there. We would probably be okay to do a little bit of a lane shuffle if needed, but it's it's a risk. Well, we're going this way now. Thankfully, there's quite a lot of cars around, so anything untoward happens, we might be okay. Um, well, I guess I should probably make changes and head up this way, shouldn't we? We should probably go this way. And then that will still loop us down towards... Because I want to go back to the docks because I think someone's going to be... Oh. <laughs> I'm in the wrong pissing lane again. <laughs> Every damn time. There's a pre. I spy a pink pre. I'm going to blow up a pink pre in a minute. I don't think I could get the throw for that. I feel like that would make an unnecessary explosion and make my life more difficult than it needs to be. We're trying to do this intelligently-ish. Subtly-ish. Subtly as you can be blowing up bright pink prees around the city. There's a rather large shadow, I presume, of a blimp. There's also a lot of... Oh, there's a sad ambulance going. I was, trying to fight, I was trying to spot the blimp and then the traffic's going to freak out and go around us and all that. Uh, oh, this one's actually quite nasty. It's very close to a police station. So, all right, we're going to go for a sneaky U-turn. Now, this is a little bit more risky. Uh, but we're going to go for a sneaky U-turn uh, up here. We are going to go and... Uh, Lester. If you if you please, just because... Hey, what's uh, going on? Turn a blind eye. There yep, okay, we get another... 
We get another three minutes, but I know there are vehicles close. So they're going to be on us really, really quickly when we do this. Uh, traffic lights, please don't take forever to change. I only have three minutes of this. And if they... If they spot a car going slow and a pink pre happens to blow up, then, you know, they're going to figure out. They're going to see, or they might see me sticky bomb if there's anyone close. There's the blimp. <laughs> the blimp will be the first one on the case, I think. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I've seen quite a lot of those red and grey minivans, but I don't know why you'd ever... You'd never use one. They're so slow. You'd never want one, because even if you were in a good position, at the, you know, even if even if I never suspected that you would be in that car, it would be of no use to you, because you would um, never have any chance of catching me. Right. Pink Pre, number two, has been exploded along with a BMW. Now, we're just going to pretend to be a slightly freaked out AI just to get out of that area. And, oh, look, it's green lights. Green lights all the way. Perfect stuff. Let's keep going. <laughs> we have vacated that area lovely. Well done. I'd say well done. I mean, we have vacated the area nicely, but we're immediately back in traffic, and there's going to be a lot of cars pouring down to that direction. Oh, the AI behind us has calmed down. That's helpful. Didn't need an angsty AI behind us. I hear sirens, I hear sirens, and I saw the shadow of a chopper. I presume something shot overhead. Uh, I've still not got down the direction I was trying to go here, have we? We've literally... <laughs> we have been distracted quite comprehensively. Well done. Well done indeed. Um, it's working. I haven't actually seen as many hunters this time around as we did last uh, for this. Is someone going to have been a cheeky git and parked a pink pre up there? Oh, there's two blimps. Why are there two blimps? I feel like two blimps is not the strategy. Dual, <laughs> dual blimps. Is, uh, maybe they're more useful than helicopters. So maybe they've gone for blimps rather than choppers. Uh, I guess that would be one way to go. I'm actually happy to stop here because it gives me time to look around for a pre. Hmm, I don't think they had cars quite close enough to deal with that one. They didn't have people uh, ready, really, for that one. Um, you're going to take a picture of the car. Fair enough. Uh, don't give me away, please. Tell you what, that'd be a fun. <laughs> of all the ways, of all the ways to be given away in a survive the hunt, there goes. I presume a player, unless someone's pressing around with merit. I don't think anyone would be. There's a player. So now they're trying to get to the. Because of course they could be anywhere around the map. They could be anywhere searching for me. Someone's going to surely be patrolling the airport. The amount of times I end up down by the airport, uh, <laughs> they have gone shooting past. I keep hearing sirens as well. I don't know where that's the ambulance. Oh, there's some shenanigans going on behind us. They, they're checking a car back there. Something weird went on behind us. <laughs> Thankfully, it was behind us. Well, uh, I mean, I don't tend to go over this part of the map all that often. Primarily because I don't actually know it very well. Uh, that's why I tend to avoid this area. So we will head along here. Taco Van! <laughs> Taco Van's run over a person. Well done, Taco Van. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. I can hear a chopper. There goes that bloody jackal oracle thingy again. There it is. <laughs> That's been close so many bloody times as well. Oh. It just kind of whizzed around. There's a blimp over to the left. <laughs> the blimps are having a fight. <laughs> Hold on. Don't. There we go. There are blimp wars. I don't think your blimps are that useful up there. I'm just going to just gonna say blimps up that high, probably not the most useful. I can't even see the blimps. They've gone that high. So I'd be amazed if you could see AI traffic doing... Well, maybe you can see traffic doing weird things. I don't know. Um, is this light ever going to go green? Look, the blimp walls have gone. They were entertaining. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's almost as if it knows. Quickly. Now, shall we head this direction? I don't know if that was a particularly correct line to go in if I was heading down here, but we are on the path we needed to be. Christ, that was close. Uh, <laughs> that was so close. Again, we were a split second the right side of okay there. Any later, and... 
that would have seen me doing probably janky lane changes. Uh, they're whizzing along. There's a bunch of them now whizzing another direction. Uh, it's quite possible that they have seen something. An AI freaking out and they're going towards it. Oh, I wonder if the blimps are having trouble. Any pink prees? Anyone? Any pink prees? Anyone seen a pink pre? No. I spot a taco van, but I don't know whether it's uh, a player one or just a general taco van. Oh, for a second, I thought there was a pink pre in that car park. I think it's just a red car. Uh, yeah, I could be kind of... So careful not to miss them. No, they're just red cars. From a distance, and when you're kind of... Uh, not speeding, but when you're just driving past, the red cars can look like a pink car. Some of the pink prees are not hot pink. Some of them are kind of a more... I think there's a couple of like, pearlescent ones, so... Yeah, we'll just keep an eye out. I'm almost back at the docks, at least, which is where I wanted to be. We've looped our way around. Two cars so far exploded, not too bad. The first one was sketchy. The second one was... Okay. I've been a few seconds away from disaster on a couple of occasions already. Oh, for a second I thought those... Tr oh. Ugh. <laughs> Blimps! The blimps are coming! That's a terrifying sight to just look behind you. There's <laughs> a blimp. Oh. Well, this is going to go wrong, isn't it? Because you want to fight, and I don't want to fight, and I've got to go and drive away. And now you've scratched my car, and now I need a new car. Oh, bugger. Uh, yeah, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Oh, I'm really glad the blimp wasn't looking. Nick the lowrider. Yeah, that's going to go well. Um, right. What the hell do I do? I know I'm not in a quiet area, really. We've seen a blimp, we've seen a couple of cars. I'm not at the desperate stage of I must pull over and well, swap a car. It's a scratch. Now, you might, be, you might be wondering why am I worrying about a scratch on my vehicle. Uh, the truth of the matter is... We don't... Well, I say we don't know. The damage doesn't sink fully on everyone's screen. So what might appear as a little scratch on my screen might not appear at all on theirs, or it might show up as a massive dent. It might show up as bumpers hanging off and all of that kind of thing. And while, yes, random AI traffic does have crash damage because hunters have hit them and they've got enchants on their own, as we've seen, it's something that gets you looked at. And basically, if your car can get you looked at in any way, shape, or form, it has to go. Now... Can I just carjack a vehicle that's around here? Absolutely. Um, it has worked in the past. Oh, well, I'm going to go for that buffalo there. I've tried to time it. Tried to time it perfect so that we can get the buffalo as the traffic lights are going. Um, doors closed. I mean, oh, no, not time it perfect. Oh, Christ. <laughs> We've managed to steal it from gang members. What the hell is going on? I've managed to cause all sorts of chaos in this uh, without actually intending on. That might actually be a player. I thought it was someone shooting at it. It was a gang car, but it isn't. I think that's a player who's just got unbelievably lucky. Because, um, yeah, an AI would not follow you. Wouldn't be able to follow you up there. In fact, it's now just fallen over. Oh, that was a very, very good crash. Now, we are done for. We've got a load of bullet holes in the back of our car. <laughs> Problem is, okay, here is the issue I have now got. We know we need to swap car. I know I need to get rid of this car. The difficulty I have is, what do I do with it? Where do I swap cars? Um, if I don't run far enough, they'll immediately be back chasing me. If I, if I do something stupid. I've still not been able to search this bloody dock area. I've also got up on the motorway the wrong way, but seeing as I'm kind of half in a pursuit already. And uh, do we reckon they saw me? Uh were they looking in the right way? That is the question, those helicopters. I don't know. I genuinely don't know if they were. I don't think they are. No, they've dove off down that side. They have no idea. No, there's, well, there's a cargo bob still following us. It might be following us. It might just be following this direction of traffic. We'll see if it turns off. Um. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't like this. 
I'm very unsure whether I'm currently in a chase or whether the helicopter is just traveling this direction. Uh, and it's very difficult to keep track of a helicopter. That's another advantage of the helicopters that I didn't really think about. Really difficult for me to keep track of them. Let alone them keep track of me. Ooh. Okay. I'm on entirely the wrong motorway. That I do not want to be on. In fact, this goes pretty much out of my little uh, confines. So we will dive off of this. And I will have to abandon my car. There's... They're going to be searching grey buffaloes, I would expect, now. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to just abandon and swap in the middle of the road. We've seen that that got us in trouble last time. Um, I mean, well done, whoever it was, giving chase for a flip. I don't think we've had a single-player car chase go out because an opponent rolled. That's quite impressive stuff. None of these are actually any quick vehicles. Oh, for God's sake. I just want a quick car that I can use as and when needs must and all that. I don't want an FQ2. I feel like that car park over there is possibly one of my best bets. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to hope that there are no players around. I was trying to do this sneakily. Ah, no, perfect. You know what we can do? Absolutely perfect. This is where the bloody AI goes back into it. We will abandon that. I don't think I've ever seen a player, uh, an AI drive up to a petrol station, but I know we do find cars here sometimes. It'd be helpful if this one was unlocked. But, uh, okay, we'll do that. We'll smash the window anyway. Doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a bit of luck. That was fortuitous. Okay, so, now you see the danger of the car swap. Now you see how risky the car swap can be if you get spotted. <laughs> it was... Yeah, that was close. That was very close. We are okay, though. We are okay. We're out the other side. There are blimps about. I've only found two prees. I didn't even see any prees in that great chase. And I've ended up like where I bloody started <laughs> all of this bloody time. And we've just looped our way back around here again. But this is the quickest way to get back. I'm determined to get to the docks. That is my new goal. I thought I saw some bullets ping down over there. I am determined to get myself to the docks. Because someone's going to have done that. You know, like that's... That is it's something I would have been... I would have done. You know, plant the car in the industrial areas. Because I don't normally go back that way. If we take a different route through here, we can at least cover this area. We can cover this area again, but a different part. And see if we spot a pink pre that we can potentially explode. Uh, oh, that is going to get me bloody spotted. I know my stupid messing around at traffic lights, but what can we do? Uh, there's no sign of a pre around here. I was expecting to see some more in like car parks and like car parks for like the shops and whatnot, but we've not really seen that. There's no sign of them. No sign of pre's. Still, there's a blimp floating. A siren blaring. No sign of any more pre's. Oh, if someone stuck it in a car wash, that'd be funny. <laughs> stuck it in there. Uh, I mean, I can't see one there. That AI car actually just like just drove out from behind the car wash. Fair enough. Um, nah, there's no sign of anything down there. No sign of anything over there either. Low flying helicopter. The helicopter's controlling the motorway at the moment. Oh. Yeah, okay, so this is actually going to get me in more trouble if I look around too much. Uh, <laughs> I need, the problem is I need to look around. I need to find these damn prees. But, spotted one. Pretty sure there's one in the car park, in the petrol station over there. Okay, Lester, I need your help, my friend, again. That's got to be How one over service? there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cops turn a blind okay. eye. Now, problem. when we blow this pre up, that helicopter is going to go... Uh, he's going to be very close, and he's going to get very suspicious very quickly. But if I don't blow it up now, I might not get round to it again. So I feel like, I feel like, uh, the helicopter is also buggering off. So that's helpful. But it, it will. It's we know it's very close to this area already. We know it's very close. The blimp's not far away here. <laughs> oh, come on, traffic! Don't do this. Don't make it obvious for the vehicles that are behind or vehicles that are flying around. 
Is that a sol uh, is Sultans are spawning now. That's a player car. Now I want to be in this lane. And that player car will, I suspect, hear what's about to happen. How do I do this subtly? How on earth do I do this subtly? Uh, can I, do we reckon, get a good enough throw over... Oh, no! Why is that put out the wrong thing? Uh, it's not really been subtle, has it? It's close enough. It's close enough. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> they will hear that one. They will have heard that one. Um, I'm going to go around this way. Uh, there is all sorts of mayhem. I have just realised I've gone down a one-way street, and I think that was a player turned the other way to go to the explosion and didn't notice that I turned down a one-way street. <laughs> oh, that was stupid lucky. <laughs> I forgot that, that I just completely blanked that was a one-way street. I just knew I wanted to get out of that area. I knew I couldn't be in that area. And, uh-oh. There is a... Uh-oh. Uh... I have a feeling the blimp might have seen us. I have a feeling I thought I got lucky from the player. I avoided the player car, but I think the blimp might have spotted me go down the one-way street. It was dropping off a person. Yep, they're on to us. Panic and bail! They are very much on to us. Um, yeah, I think the one-way street... The, the blimp tactic, I think, worked. The blimp tactic did the trick in some regards. Now, how fast is my oracle in a straight line? Is it faster than the... Is it felon? Uh, that's giving chase. We've got to also shake a helicopter. Helicopter's the lesser of the concern for me currently. I mean, we might learn where a pre is along the way, but I don't know. We've got quite a long time to go if we are going to uh, survive this one till the end. Yeah, this, this Oracle's got some speed about it in the straights. I'm going to use that to my advantage. The cargo bob will be giving them directions, okay? I can't shake the cargo bob. Actually, I might be able to shake the cargo bob in a straight line if it's a long enough straight line. I'm happy to go straight here. Uh, <laughs> we've got the power advantage, and I want to get back to the densely populated part of the city where the helicopter will struggle. Skyscrapers... That sort of stuff is my best friend now. There are cars in the distance, but they are only in the distance at the moment. Uh, so we're going to have to now, we're going to start going for the wiggle around the tall buildings where the helicopter has trouble and have immediately hit a vehicle. Thankfully, there were cars in the distance. Thankfully, there weren't cars right behind us because that was a stupid maneuver. Uh, <laughs> we need to, of course, break line of sight, but we need to break line of sight. We're talking helicopters and land vehicle. It's very, very tough to know when we've got away in this chase. Which is fine. It's a challenge, you know. Oh, that was a big clonk. I think they were trying to go for a torpedo and they missed it uh, back there. I've got one car following. And I think only one car following us. The chopper is still about. Okay. I need to shake the cars first and then we worry about the helicopter. Uh, the car, <laughs> that car, whatever it is, has got as much, if not a little bit more straight line speed than me, so we're going to have to rely on trying to get it to crash. I can't, I don't want to be doubling back on myself, that's how you get caught, or one of the ways, one of the many ways you get caught, but we do need, basically I need the car behind to make a mistake before I do, because I can't shake it. I can't shake it from raw, raw pace, it's struggling to catch me on raw pace. Uh, there was a gap there, but it wasn't enough. Uh, are they? They are just AI cars, I think. They're not hunters uh, just trying to blend in with traffic. There's a gauntlet. Oh, crap, there's a gauntlet. That is faster than me. The gauntlet's a problem now, folks. The gauntlet is a very, very, very big problem. Oh, no, the gauntlet's got into trouble on its own. Oh, the gauntlet's fallen over. Never mind. The gauntlet's uh, made a mess of things. I don't quite know how the gauntlet's made a mess of things, but it has done. There's a pink C. That doesn't count as a pre. Uh, well, it might have been a red a C. How the hell do I shake that helicopter? <laughs> How the hell do I shake the helicopter? I mean, I can go in the train tunnels, but I've got too many cars following. I mean, again, we will go for the train tunnels if, if needed. I'm not allowed to throw the sticky bombs out of my car and blow up the chasers. Uh, that's a little bit... I'm not allowed to shoot inside my vehicle, but I am allowed to sticky bomb cars uh, in that, because otherwise I would just be doing that constantly, and it would be a little cheap, shall we say. Uh, where are we going to go to try and lose that vehicle? Um... <laughs> We're so evenly matched in terms of speed, I cannot shake it. The helicopter, I think, might be in trouble. I don't think the helicopter can really keep up. Not with all of these changes of direction. That was the messer that we nearly ran into. 
There's the gauntlet. There's a jackal or something. So we are kind of running into hunters that we'd lost initially, and then they're filtering back in. I've still got that one bloody car right behind me. Oh, ambulance. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, that's not great, although it has at least stopped us. I mean, of all the spin maneuvers, that one wasn't the worst it could have been. That one wasn't the worst it could have been. Christ, they're doing good of not making mistakes, those giving chase. Oh, that was a good hit. From the Sultan, Street Furniture has made a mockery of everything. Well done, Street Furniture. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Uh, <laughs> still got one car giving chase. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to fit for a second. Would have been funny. Be funny if someone got stuck because their car couldn't fit through there. Uh, they are they're falling back, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, this is a long chase. Long chases are not good for me. Long chases are... Oh, mistakes will creep in in a long chase. So you don't really want something like this going on for as long as it is currently. Uh, can I... Will they think that I've gone down? Will they think I've gone in the bin? I would be tempted to go in the bin again. They will always check the bin now. They will never let me get away with the bin incident again. Nah, no, they've suspected the helicopter's not far enough back. That's annoying. Uh, there, there's three or four of them still barreling down. Uh, my hope of exploding prees is, uh, well, not really happening here. Uh, can we get through all of this debris? Uh, so far, so good. That car there got stuck. They are out of the car. They've got a couple of bullets into the back of us, but nothing too much. Okay. Where the chopper's still on us. I shook most of the cars by going that through that. I was hoping the debris would cause chaos. There's still, it's still a chopper on us. How do I shake the helicopter? Is there a car? There is one car back there. I think it's the gauntlet. It's still giving chase. The problem is, if I've still got a helicopter on me, even if I lose the gauntlet, the helicopter can just tell the gauntlet where to go. They can use, they can use the helicopter to good effect to uh, work people around back into the chase and so on. Uh, if the helicopter is still on us, which it bloody is. Um, this car's too close to do silly buggers around the bridges. As much as I would absolutely love to do silly buggers around the bridges and all of that kind of thing, the cars behind are so close that they will probably see what I am up to. Uh, now, have I shaken that helicopter? I have a dumb idea if I have shaken the helicopter. Because at night time it's really very, very dark. It's very difficult to see where I might be. Uh, I have a plan. I've used this area before. This is a, everything's going horribly wrong, but I'm right in the, in a good location to jump on here. I can still hear a helicopter, I think. I can't see it. If it's directly above us, it's directly above us. Um, if there is a helicopter, has spotted, yeah, a helicopter saw me go in there. So, the helicopter knows I've gone into the subway tunnels. What it doesn't know is where the hell I'm going to come out. What I don't know is where the bloody hell I am going to appear in this one. I've got to go till 2am. Do I keep running through the subway tunnels? Oh, this is really sketchy to drive. If we meet a train, I'm actually going to be in a lot of trouble here. Do I get out? No, I can't get out the first subway station. They'll probably be thinking I'll do that. Um, if the other cars get in here... Ah, they were a long way back, so I have a little bit of time. I have a little bit of a breather. Um... Do we get out of this subway station? Uh, I kind of feel like I want to hide the car. There's nowhere to hide a car in a subway station. In a subway tunnel, though, is there? Let's face it. The cars are not supposed to be in here. Um, and wherever I abandon my car... Oh, if anyone did follow me, someone is going to follow me in here. Wee, we've got oversteer. We're doing subway drifting. That's a new thing. Let's just make it awkward if anyone is giving chase. Uh, right. Panic and bail up here. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Muppet. Jump, jump and run. Jump and run. Okay, I don't think they'll have spotted my outfit necessarily. I've got bigger concerns currently than what I'm wearing. Uh, my biggest concern is can I get to a car and get moving again before they figure out where the subway is going to have been spat out. I don't know if I can. I have a horrible feeling I do know where what subway tunnel I'm coming out at, though. Uh, I think this is the airport. Oh! No! 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 
Come on, lock on. <laughs> Apparently, my gun is not locking on. Oh, no, we're having the world's worst showdown here. Come on, did we turn off auto aim or something? Okay. Uh, things are bad. Uh, <laughs> that's not good for me. I almost feel like I was better in the bloody tunnels. Yeah, no, we just sort of tap the trigger and it locks on. I feel like, you know what? I prefer the tunnels. I'm very close to death now. Uh, <laughs> Is my car still down here? I think I'd rather- if I get killed by the police, that would be a fitting end to this. My car's still down in the tunnel. I'm amazed they managed to loop around and get to the right tunnel. That's fair play. That is some fair play right there. That was also the world's worst gunfight, I think, we have ever witnessed. Oh no, don't- You've nicked my car, haven't you? I bet the car's despawned, actually. Uh, I bet it has. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no! No, the car's on that side. Quickly, 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 quickly. Right into the get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. I want a car. I want the safety of a car. Help! Help! Uh <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all! This has not been fun! Uh, this has not been fun at all. I'm having a minor heart attack. I'm astounded no one went in there. Uh, brazen good effort, however. Uh, <laughs> I would... I, I, oh, God. In the battle of car versus brazen with a pistol, I will take car every single time. And this is technically the most hunters I think I've ever killed. Uh, oh, yeah. Car at high speeds in these tunnels are dangerous. Surely someone's got to have brought a car in here. Surely someone's got to have thought, you know what we might need? A vehicle to give chase to the Muppet currently running around in the subways. Oh, there it is! There's a car. I knew that someone would. Someone was going to have to bring a car. Uh, oh, I have been spat back out. Uh-oh. Actually, no. Good. Fall over. Fall over. No! <laughs> Oh, how close was that? We were 45 minutes away. We had been running for about six hours. I just couldn't get the car to twist and land on its wheels. It is the first death by explosion. Technically, we're not, well, we don't use explosions, but it was the first death by vehicle explosion. I thought I'd been really sneaky, gone over the barrier, could have landed it and we would have been fine. However, unfortunately for me, I should have used the boopy gun. I should probably have that equipped at all times. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I should have used the boopy gun. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. That's, uh, if I'd fallen over the edge there, if we'd landed on the wheels, I could have got away because we only had seconds, I say seconds to go, we had less than two minutes to go. We would have been fine because we could have run around the storm drain and they hadn't been able to catch us anyway. Oh, so nearly got away. I don't know whether I don't know whether I should have left the airport having killed Stevie. Uh, I think it was Stevie I killed first, but I don't know whether that was also going to be a problem for me because there was so many that they might have had other people there. The police were also angry at me, which is another reason why I fled back into the tunnels. There are a lot of police around. I think that was the airport anyway. I don't actually know. It must have been. So, there we go. Oh, we got very close. We blew up two pre's. I mean, it, the game, as far as the game mode work, game game idea works, is that yeah, we we blew up two pre's, no three pre's, sorry. But the set the third one got me in trouble, and I just couldn't shake them. We kept going for a damn long time, but it wasn't long enough. Well done to the hunting team. A little bit fortuitous. A little bit fortuitous in uh, the takedown. We had the world's worst gunfight, and I will hold my hands up and say that was the world's worst gunfight. The fact is that we were both as equally terrible as each other, so <laughs> it was fine. Um, there we go. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I did not quite survive the hunt. Oh, I killed. How did I kill the Ewan? Answers on a postcard for that one. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And see, it locks on now. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Until next time. 
Uh, goodbye.